So there is one thing that makes your business bulletproof to any type of drop in revenue or sales or what have you. Um, and I get asked this question all the time. It's probably one of the first questions that people ask when they come to visit me at my 10X days here, here at the Golf Room, um, where we kind of open up the box of Pandora for the Golf Room. And that is, Kyle, how do you generate a consistent flow of leads into your company? Like, how did you scale the Golf Room as quickly as you did? And with that question in mind, I want to give you the answer today inside the room at the Golf Room. So the big question is this. How do you take $42,000 in assets in a one Trackman Bay facility in the back of a CrossFit gym and turn it into a 12 bay, 17,000 square foot training facility in just a few years? That's the question and this is the podcast that's gonna give you the answer. Welcome to Inside the Room on Stock Shot Secrets. So creating a consistent flow of leads is really important. To be honest, it was not something that I have always believed in. Quite frankly, it was quite the opposite. So if you were to ask me, um, I opened the golf room in 2016 and you said, hey, Kyle, like in 2016, 2017, 2018, if you're like, tell me about marketing, I'm like, marketing's a waste, right? Those companies just don't even know what they're doing. They're basically just stealing money because it's not tracked. And I would always go to them. I'm like, hey, if I give you like 2000 bucks, like, how do I know I'm going to get an ROI on the dollar? And they're like, I don't know. Like, you just got to trust us. And I'm like, that's not going to work for me. Right. So, so I really went on this manhunt starting in about 2019 of marketing, just everything to know about marketing. And now, to be frank, I am like a marketing holic, right? It's like what I listen to and read, mostly because I find it really, really fun. It's super fascinating. So, usually if I have a book in my hand, it's about golf. Uh, something about the Bible or something about marketing. Those are like the three topics that I will read. So the question really becomes is, Kyle, you went, you know, like we, if someone's asking and, and we've gone from in 2016, we had one bay. Then in 2017, we had two bays. Then we had three bays. Then we had six bays in 2018. Then we had seven bays. And now we've got 12 bays. So now we've got the largest player development facility in the Western Hemisphere, maybe the world. Um, and I own more more track minutes individually than anyone in the world, from my from my understanding. So the question is, is how did that happen? And it really happened through this process of creating leads. Right now, first and foremost, to start with this, we need to make a we need need to make a distinction between what a lead is, right? Because you kind of have two leads, two two definitions. You have leads, and then you have engaged leads. And engaged leads are different than leads. Leads would be like my mother. Like my mother could be a lead because of the fact that I've got her name, I've got her email, I got her cell phone number, so I have her contact information. But what we're really, really after, actually after is we are after engaged leads. Engaged leads are people that are showing interest in your company to buy something that you have to offer. So then the question becomes is after you've done that, why don't you have enough free leads? right? Why are not free leads? Why do you not have enough engaged leads? And the reason is, is because you're not providing anything that they want in exchange for trust, right? So if you think about this and you think about just a relationship, right? Like how do you, how, if you're married, how did, let's say your wife or your husband build trust with you? So for me, for example, when I was dating Leslie, right? Leslie and I have been, we've been dating. We're still dating. We're actually married, but I feel like we're dating because I'm just so obsessed with her. But, um, you know, my beloved wife and I, like, we started dating when I was 18 years old. We were married when I was 23 or so. And there was basically an epiphany moment for me where I go, oh, my gosh, I love this woman and she loves me in return. And the, one of the epiphany moments that I have that still sits in my heart, and we know this from other episodes, that like we create memories in our brain from moments in our life where we have high emotional connection to it. So one of these high emotional connection moments for her and I was when I was playing in a college event in Annapolis, Maryland. Now, I'm playing, I'm driving there, we're both doing this, we're on the phone, and like we're kind of talking or texting like, wow, I'm in the, the, the school to Seton Hall van. And she's like, hey, look to your right. And I look to my right. This is after we've drawn it. And she's, she's sitting in the parking lot of, like, the hotel that we were pulling up to. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, this girl just drove nine hours to watch me play one round of golf. 
right? So she had basically poured into our relationship, not doing any asking for anything in return, but she had poured into our relationship. And with that, it made me continue to want to trust her with my life and my soul, right? So when we're doing these, right, and you're have and you're building relationship, and that's what this generating leads is, is you're pouring into someone and you're really doing it. Like I think the guy was Gary Chapman, I think, that wrote that book, Five Love Languages, right? I should know the author because we use it a lot, but like those five love languages, right? You have words of affirmation, you have quality time, you have acts of service, you have physical touch, and you have receiving gifts. So when we're trying to create a, create a lead to an engaged lead to a customer, we need to be tackling one of those five aspects of the human being. So we can do that. The first thing that we need to do is we need to over deliver to our potential customer three things to make them understand and have us make them understand who we are so that we can build trust. See, the reason that most companies don't have leads is, quite frankly, you're not giving away enough free stuff. And you're like, well, I don't want to give free stuff. I want to make money. And I go, right. But sometimes, like, sometimes you have to give to get right? And that's okay, right? And the goal is, is that you're trying to give away free stuff and your free stuff is better than your competitors paid stuff. So for example, right now, like if you guys were to listen to this, just as like, if you were going to go, Hey, what does he, what does Kyle do this? Like, what is, what's an example? Like if you were to go to stockshotchallenge.com, right? At stockshotchallenge.com to create an engaged lead, right? We have a 21 day stockshot challenge, so the 21 day stock shot challenge is te- is 21 days. It's 10 to 15 minutes of videos. So call it, you know, 210 to 250 minutes of videos. So it's like a lot of videos. I mean, that's like um, almost three hours of content. Is that right? No, almost four hours of content, right? And you get, tw- you know, 21 days of videos. And then on top of that, you get all of these PDFs like practice plans and guides and everything. And you get 30 days of unlimited coaching, and the whole thing is free. So you could send us nine gazillion videos, and we're going to give you personalized feedback for what you need to do, and it's completely free. The 21-day videos are free. The coaching is free. The PDF is free. And everything is free because I am trying to show you, just like Leslie was showing me, hey, I am someone you can trust and I have your best interests in my heart, right? So I am willing to go, you know, to the nth and beyond. So like for us, like when she, we were dating, her driving nine hours as a 19, 20 year old, that's a really, really long drive, right? So she was going to the ends of the earth, which were her ends of the earth to show me her love for me. And that's what like you need to do as your business to your potential customer. You need to go to the ends of the earth to show them like, hey, I want to build rapport and I want to build trust with you so that we can essentially be friends, so that we can have relationships. So you are essentially courting them as to what they need to be doing right now. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this episode of the Stock Shot Secrets Podcast. If you are enjoying it, be sure to like this episode. Be sure to subscribe so you can always see when they're coming out. And most importantly, if you would be so kind to be able to share this podcast with other passionate golfers who are trying to get better and build stock shots because it grows through you sharing it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And now back to Stock Shot Secrets. The first thing that we're doing this, so that's kind of what a, that's kind of like what a lead magnet is, right? A lead magnet is giving something away for free. And when you're doing that, right, the first thing you have to do is like when you're trying to create that that lead, the first thing you need to do is you need to create some sort of like appeal to make them want to do that. So that's where you see like unfortunately if you see me like doing like an ad or an Instagram, we're just trying to do something that like catches your attention that's like, "Man, stop scrolling," right? Or it might be like um like if we do like an outing, right? It might be, you know, walking up and like we have the these rolls of like $100 bill like coupon things. So, it'll be like something that like draws attention. Then, we're going to give some offer. You need to give some offer that's like a crazy offer, an offer that like you would be silly to say no, right? And then after you, they they, like, so for us, it would be, um, let's just say, for example, it'd be like going to an an outing, 
right? It might be, okay, if you come up to the tee box and you can hit a shot and you can guess it within two yards of your um, of how far you're going to hit it, we will give you a free $100 new student assessment. But just for participating, we're going to enter you into $10,000 of prizes that we will draw that you can get. So it'll be like a 12-month TrackMan practice at the golf room everywhere, like an experience with me, a set of golf clubs, a fitness evaluation, a club fitting, like psychology sessions, unlimited practice for a year, like something crazy, crazy, crazy good that everyone would say yes to. And we're going to draw you into that, right? So now once they've done that, they're like, yeah, I want to do that, right? And they play the game because it's free, right? They don't have to risk anything. It's just like it's free money. So why wouldn't you do it? So now they do, and they're like, man, like, ah, I didn't guess my yardages. Like, I suck. My contact's no good. So now what we need to do is we need to create a solution to that narrow problem. So the narrow problem is the fact that you don't know your yardages and that you need to know your yardages. So then what we're going to do is we'll, like, send an email. So now we're going to follow up, and we're going to send them an email after we have caught their attention then we've given them an offer. Now we're going to give them a solution. We're going to give them a full solution. See, so many times as companies and business owners and marketers, it's like, okay, you know, watch the first five minutes. But if you want to watch the rest 10 minutes, you got to pay for it. It's like, no, like, give me the whole solution. Let me earn trust. And then let me know that what you're going to do for me that you can help serve me. So after we do that, we need to make it so that they understand how to know their yardages. So might we, we're going to give them like a video series in their email, a PDF. Maybe I might write like a short, a short ebook, a practice plan. We'll, maybe we'll hand write a note to them and send it to them in the mail if we have their address. Maybe like a blank yardage card that they could fill in their yardages if they're calculating it um, on the range. And then we'll probably also give them, which is what we're going to try to do. We'll also, if they're local, we'll give them like a free TrackMan practice. So now they have a free TrackMan practice, they can come into the golf room. So then when they come to the golf room, they're going to practice for free for 65 bucks and get their yardages. And then maybe if they're there, they go, oh, like, I need to kind of work on my swing. And then they get a new student assessment. And maybe we give the new student assessment for free. So we're continuing to over-deliver on everything we're doing to build trust so we go, hey, like, we're not just trying to, like, take your money. We actually really, really value you, and we really, really want to help you, and we really want to earn your trust so that we can be get your business. And by doing these and having and thinking about opportunities to where always having the customer in mind of how can you serve the customer to put their interest in front of your own, right? Which comes like right out of Philippians 3, right? Like we're trying to do things so that our customers realize that their, their progress and what they need to be doing is more important than us putting money in our wallets. And if we can earn your trust, then that's okay, right? Like if if Leslie came came up to me and she's doing all the stuff and she goes, hey, like I need you to go, I need to buy this thing, right? I'm like, yeah, sure. Like here's my credit card, like whatever you need, because I know that you, I trust you, and I know that you're gonna have my intentions in mind with along with yours. And the same thing would go for the customer. So as you continue to do things to build these leads, you're building trust with the customer for them to for eventually when you go, hey, like you know. We'd like to like maybe help you on your journey to get better, like do a set of lessons and some playing lessons and, you know, send in videos or do a VIP program or like remote coaching because we can do, we can help anyone like anywhere in the world. It doesn't just have to be in Columbus. We've got, you know, 50,000 people around the world doing lessons and stuff. Um, that way, when when that happens, when that when the, when the rubber meets the road and it's that decision point of like, okay, now we probably need to pay. It's like, okay, well, we've earned your trust so that maybe you would trust us to do whatever you need. And this is how you can take a lead magnet and then turn it into a customer for life. And there's a lot to this. There's a whole story, not a story, but there's a whole process of how to do it, um, which is what you need to really, we need to make it make sure that when you are running your company, because this this podcast is really built for the, the facility owners, you know, that are running golf facilities, golf courses, public courses. Um, it could be even just for business owners in general, right? It doesn't have to be just golf courses. But we need to make sure that if I were to say, hey, how many leads are you getting next month and how are you getting those? The answer isn't just, I hope my customers say, tell their friends, right? Which is mostly what happens. It's like, I hope that, which is great. Like word of mouth marketing is awesome. But we want something that's more predictable, right? Like 
We need something where we go, I know that next month we have 100 new leads coming in. And out of the 100 leads that we're coming in, we are going to close 52% because we know what our close rate and we know what our lifetime value is for the customer and we know the average cart value of the customer and like all these things. Because now once you start to understand these metrics, making some of these marketing decisions of what you need to do to help scale your company becomes a lot easier. You have to know your numbers, right? Um, and you have to know your processes. So. Just, you know, food for thought when thinking about leads rather than just like, I'm just going to rely on my phone number and website and hopefully people come. It's like, unfortunately, that's not like it's going to kind of work, but it's not going to take your company to the levels in which you're wanting it, right? You really need to create these engaged leads and you need to get them into your funnel so that then you can start to in, uh, interact with them to build trust in your relationship so that they can trust you forever to essentially service them at whatever service that you are providing. So um, take this for food or thought. Um, and hopefully, you know, if, if any of you guys are listening to this and you guys want any, you know, business consulting or whatever, you can always come visit me at the golf room for my 10X days, um, which is a one-on-one -on -one two day experience where we dive into your, your business. And I basically open up, we'll say the box of the golf room and kind of give you like, we'll say the franchise code, if you will, almost of like, here's how we do it. And here's how you can take it into your business. So um, if you want, if you have any questions about that, you can always email us at info at the golf um, But hopefully you guys can take some of these information on leads, maybe make your brain spin a little bit and think differently. Um, and best of luck with help growing your companies as you're, you guys are serving your customers. Hey, thank you so much for listening to the latest episode of Stock Shot Secrets. I would love to invite you to Columbus to come see me and hang out with me and build a personalized plan for you and your game. If you would want more information about building your personalized plan and coming to Columbus and hanging out, just email us at info at thegolfroom.com and we will get back to you and set your visit for an epic red carpet experience at TGR in Columbus, Ohio.